Good morning. This is Dr. Hansa Das, and once again, you are welcome to my channel, History with Hansa. In the last uh, video, uh, we had talked about Renaissance, which brought about a major transformation in the entire uh, system of uh, Europe, and uh, which inaugurated the modern age in Europe. The Middle Ages in Europe were known as Dark Ages, where there was darkness in the field of language, literature, science, technology. culture civilization and religion and renaissance brought about major transformations in these one of the important characteristics of renaissance was humanism which we are going to discuss today in this video and humanism basically stressed on uh, moral philosophy on uh, the spirit of learning the study of classics scholarship etc so we'll focus on humanism uh, as a major characteristic of renaissance in this video Uh, renaissance stressed upon dignity of man humanism implied dignity of man and his privileged position in the world the humanists emphasized the elegance of writing and speech as well as morality which stressed the uniqueness of man his feelings and his potential and it was an inte- intellectual influence believing in the potential of humanity rather than on the power and mystery of divinity so the roman catholic church had dominated throughout the middle ages throughout the dark ages and renaissance was a time when inspired by humanistic ideas the humanists propagated the concept of dignity of man and uh, talked about the potential of humanity Uh, uh, and uh, stressed on not believing on the power and mystery of divinity stress on moral philosophy it was a conceptual and secular shift from religion to the potential of humanity which also meant the study of the texts of antiquity with renewed interest the texts the scholarship which had been lost in the dark ages was now revived it was revived during the renaissance period at the root of renaissance individualism was the notion that each man should develop freely all aspects of his nature and there was a great stress on moral philosophy uh, uh, god had given man the power of thinking the power of uh, 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 testing things and therefore man should test things on the basis of science and technology and not simply believe on what religion or the catholic church was saying Uh, humanism was based on scholarship which was patronized by kings and princes humanism found literary expression both in the study of classical and religious texts and in the original composition of new works in the vernacular also the texts which had been lost in the middle ages in the dark ages they were being revived and they were also being translated into the language in which the, the ordinary people could read so that education or scholarship could reach to each and every man study of classics humanism meant an educational and cultural interest based on the study of classics it was a basic source of inspiration for all cultural changes of the renaissance greatly influencing literature history painting sculpture and political ideas along with humanism another feature which had developed during the renaissance was religion uh, was uh, sorry uh, it was called uh, realism Uh, and uh, realism greatly influenced uh, painting sculpture and all the arts during that period the intellectual interests of the humanists were primarily literal literary rhetorical and ethical their literary language was normally la- latin but of course uh, there were translations also in literature they turned to the works of plato cicero levi and some ancient christians like saint augustine greater emphasis was laid on understanding the classics in their original form and we also find the revival of greek during the 15th century we also find with humanism uh, the spread of humanist philosophy uh, 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 the humanist philosophy it basically originated in italy italy was the center of all uh, renaissance activities uh, in europe during that time spreading from florence to europe beyond the alps there was a corresponding flow from france germany and england to italy as well as we have seen Uh, while we were doing the causes of renaissance in the previous video the beginning of the humanist movement with petrarch and boccaccio brought about a growth of a sense of history vernacular writings became known in literature and the classic forms were incorporated with medieval and contemporary themes now let us look into the successes of humanism number 1 education became more literary and classical and less dominated by dialectic than in the late middle ages So this is one major transformation that came about in the literature of the renaissance period 
the ruling elite became less feudal and military and more literate and literary in outlook so, the, so there was development there were changes in every field which we could notice religion was also reformed as we will talk later the protestant reformation movement led to the reform of the roman catholic church so religion was also reformed uh, its penetration in schools and universities led to graduates equipped with humanistic knowledge and skills so universities were being opened in italy and other parts of europe uh, uh, and uh, they were spreading uh, knowledge in all branches of education there was a diffusion of the new latin culture into the vernacular world through popular and courtly literature translations and the fine arts so the literature which had been lost in the dark ages was being revived and also it was being translated into the language which the ordinary people could understand humanism remained dominant in education till the end of the 19th century so humanism characterized uh, renaissance it was a major feature of the renaissance which brought about the modern age in europe in my next video we will talk about the protestant reformation movement which reformed the roman catholic church brought the roman catholic church of all its corruption uh, and the misguidance it was uh, imparting to the people so this is all for today's video if you like the video please uh, subscribe to it and also subscribe to my channel and also spread it to your uh, friends thank you